Hey you guys, it's Christina and I'm so excited to be back in the kitchen with you today. But today we're gonna be talking about something different. I'm gonna be showing you my favorite raw vegan specialty items, ingredients, and other things that you can buy online that aren't necessarily a fruit or a vegetable. Many of you know that I used to run my own organic produce co-op here in Houston, Texas called Rothley Organic. And my biggest desire was to be able to feed people healthy food, raw vegan fruits and vegetables, and save them money. One of the reasons why I love Thrive Market is because they're a co-op online. And they help people save money on items that they could buy in the store, but that you can buy online and get delivered straight to your door. So for those of you who are interested in joining Thrive Market, if you're interested in signing up and getting this offer, getting $60 off your organic groceries, getting a 30-day free trial and free shipping, click the link in the description below. And now I wanna show you what my favorite items are. I'm gonna show you what's in this box. Do you wanna see what's in this box? I think you do. There are a lot of items here, so much abundance, and I love that you can shop at Thrive, and they'll tell you exactly how much you save by shopping with their online site. And the things that I'm gonna show you right now, you've probably seen them all before in a video, so I'll just get started really quickly and show you some of the things that you will probably get excited <laughs> for. Many of you have seen me use Sun Warrior in all my smoothies and my ice cream recipes and videos, and many people ask me where to get it. Besides getting it at a health food store, besides getting it on Amazon, you can get it at Thrive Market. You can get it cheaper than you would get it in the grocery stores. You can get it at a discounted price at Thrive. So for those of you looking to get some Sun Warrior, there's so much creative stuff you can do with Sun Warrior. Thrive also has my favorite brand of spirulina, the Hawaiian spirulina. I use this in so many of my videos. They have the small size and they have the bigger size that you can get as well. For those of you who are spirulina lovers, this Hawaiian spirulina is my favorite brand and you can get it at Thrive. I've made kelp noodle pesto. I've put kelp noodles with a cashew cream sauce in my Buddha bowl recipe before. Many of you have asked me, where can you get kelp noodles? Because not all health food stores carry it. So you can get it online. There are the kelp noodles, the regular kind, which is the green one, and there are the coneberry noodle ones. These are also in my box today. And I love these. I think they're great. And some raw food essentials you can have in your kitchen at any time. Flackers! I have used flackers in so many of my recipes, in my hummus video, in my cream cheese videos, and so much more. I love these raw vegan flax crackers. Flackers is a great homegrown company as well. They love and appreciate our support as much as possible. I love helping homegrown companies grow. And uh, yeah, for those of you who love raw vegan crackers, flackers is usually on my list at Thrive. Some other items that I use in my salad dressings are typically hemp seeds and even pine nuts. I use these in pestos, in creamy sauces, and things you can blend up in your Vitamix or your high-speed blenders. These are great additions to your salads and your salad dressings, and nuts and seeds are great pantry items to have at any given moment to snack on, to make something heartier with. So here I have these shelled hemp hearts. I have the large bag of them because I go through hemp hearts really quickly. And I also have the Thrive Market pine nuts. Easy peasy. You can get your nuts and seeds online. Speaking of seeds, many of you love chia seeds. You can use them in breakfast recipes, chia pudding bowls, and so much more. I know I've used chia in a lot of my breakfast bowls, my smoothie bowls and more, and I've even added goji berries into that mix as well. Both of these are great for breakfast dishes, great staples to have in your pantry, to keep in your fridge, put in your smoothies, and so much more. These are two other items that were on my list. Let's talk about chocolate for a second because I just realized I have five different bags of five different kinds of chocolate products, essentially. The first one I have is cacao powder. You can add this into smoothies, into banana nice creams, ice creams, and so much more. Cacao powder is an awesome, awesome thing to have. 
And if powder is too fine for you, you can also have cacao nibs to sprinkle on top of your banana ice cream to put in your smoothie. And believe it or not, but there is a difference between the cacao nibs and the sweet cacao nibs. Sometimes I'll use cacao nibs in a dressing where I maybe will create my chocolate bars. You know, my protein chocolate bars that I made and I'll put these on top if I want the chocolate to be more bitter. And then in moments where I want a sweeter nib to sprinkle on top of my ice cream, I'll use the sweet cacao nibs to put on top. So more than one type of cacao nib. Party! Another chocolate snack that you can have in your home, a raw vegan junk food, so to speak, uh, are these Navita power snacks. For those of you who can't find it within your heart to travel with some grapes or watermelon or fruit on a plane, this could be a great alternative for you. We're about to take it next level. For those of you who want even more of a junk food snack, uh, these raw vegan cocoa rune cookies are the bomb. They kind of like push the border for me at some times and almost feel like a guilt food, but they're not. They're completely guilt free. They're cruelty free. It's basically just nuts and seeds and dates and cacao. I love Coco Runes. They have, this is only one flavor. This is the chocolate chip flavor, but they also have a coconut flavor and a raspberry and a lemon and so much more. So I consider this to be a raw vegan junk food and I don't spoil myself with that too often, but every now and then, if you wanna turn somebody onto raw food, if you wanna bring a snack with you, Coco Runes usually the way to go and it's a great movie snack great movie snack. Speaking of raw food, junk food items, for those of you who haven't heard of Go Raw, they're a company that makes raw granolas and raw vegan cookies that are really, really, really tasty. And my favorite cookie flavor is the ginger snap. These are great snacks, great movie snacks, great items to share with family and friends. And my favorite one of their granola flavors is the raisin brand, or the one with raisins in it. So yeah, ginger snaps and raisins for Go Raw. Love it. There's one item here that didn't make it into my box because it was sold out, but I feel the need to mention it here. And that item is mulberries. I use mulberries in so many of my recipes and my pies. I use it as my crust. I use mulberries in so many recipes and they're a great snack item. They were supposed to be in my box, but they were sold out. So I'll just say for those of you who are looking for mulberries, you can also find them on the Thrive website. And I just wanna say for those of you who are wondering where I get my uh, coconut palm sugar or my coconut nectar, they have a ton of this on the website as well. And you can get it right here. <laughs> coconut oil. Coconut oil is a staple, not because I eat it, but because I use coconut oil as essentially my daily lotion, I put it in my hair. Sometimes I do teeth pulling with it. Sometimes I use it if I'm laying out in the sun. It has a ton of vitamins in it and I believe that it protects my skin in so many different ways. And uh, for those of you who have not hopped on the coconut oil train, I just wanna say coconut oil is amazing. And if you haven't heard that funny phrase, I got 99 problems and coconut oil solves 86 of them. It's kind of true. It's kind of true. <laughs> Last but not least, these are two different items that I'm trying for the first time, believe it or not. Uh, this is like a raw organic wrap and this one is a kale wrap. And you can make burritos or tacos with these, but essentially they're dehydrated flattened wraps. So I'm excited to try these. These are a new item that are in my Thrive box this week. And yeah, maybe I'll make a recipe with these. I'll do a wrap and I'll show you exactly how, how good they are. I'll let you know. So I'm curious to know, have you tried some of these items before? Have you used some of these items in your recipes? What are your favorite raw food specialty items that you have in your house? I'd love to hear, so be sure to put it in the comments below. And I wanna give a special thank you to Thrive Market for helping to make this possible for everybody. It's a very sweet offer, it's very nice, and uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful gift. So I just wanna say thank you, Thrive Market. Thank you for always being there every time I reach out to you guys. And um, 
yeah, this is awesome. Thank you for making this possible for people. All right, you guys, if you've liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to follow my other social media, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, all at Fully Raw and Fully Raw Christina. Can't wait to see you in my next video.